Okay, we've got a ship that's sitting on the Earth, and um, what we want to do is, uh, first of all, head off to uh, Venus. We're going to click Escape, Forward, and then choose Toggle Through, and there we have Venus. It's hard to see, but Venus is sitting basically between us and the Sun. And the date right now is uh, Friday, March uh, 27th, 2009. In order to get to Venus, let's go ahead and we'll set up a eject plan and we'll do some minus prograde. Notice that we're getting in a little closer up here. And I'm also going to, um, yeah, it's re maybe not quite that much. Okay, and let's bump the date forward just a little bit to give us some time to be able to uh, get into a parking orbit to leave to go there. And that's probably enough right there. Let me and now we'll throw some outward. And what we want to do is get a closer pass here. And it's still off a bit, but you can see the white line's not laying across where we want to arrive. Again, this is the axis of uh, our planned orbit and Venus, so let's swing that around plane change. We'll swing this across until it lays right across there, like so. And we can see it's a pretty close pass. Now we'll click forward, and there we are, arriving at Venus. Click to escape, and forward. And what we want to do is choose a target. Let's see, Mercury, Mars, Venus. We come back to Venus. But notice it keeps jumping around. And that's because we want to get orbits to intercept bumped up to a half. That means that we're going to wait at least half an orbit, so meaning that it'll be a full orbit to arrive back here. And sling direct, variables outward, and we're going to raise that out. As we raise it, we watch to see how close we are inside Venus or near Venus on that sling pass. You can see it's 1.7 radius there. Now we may have lost, yeah, it's moving around. Let's go back and check. Uh, but first of all, let's lay uh, the white line across here. Uh, well, actually, we don't need to because we're going to stay with an inclination, an inclination of zero. So we're going to go back to the outward. Now, again, we're going to notice it's slipped back to zero. Bump it up to 0.5. There we go. So you can see we've got a close pass. Uh, we left Venus here, and we're going to go up and around to here. Venus, in the meantime, did a complete one and three quarter orbits. And we're not terribly close there. Let's get back here uh, to the Sling Direct view. The pass at Venus is going to be lots of room. We're at 1.3, so we're not going to hit the atmosphere at all. But we want to get this a little closer. So let's raise or lower the outward. That's the wrong direction. Let's maybe bump up a bit. And it shows that we're pretty close. Again, we're still missing uh, the, the sling. It's got plenty of room. So here we are forward now. Now we've gone Venus back to Venus. This time, escape, forward. And we want to choose a target, this one being Earth. Sling direct. And we're going to 
reduce the outward and let's go ahead and uh, give it some inclination too. I'll swing the white line around back to outward and get that close and we want to check also to make sure we're not um, hitting Venus too closely as we we're uh, gonna head off to Earth and that looks good at 1.5 or better and that's closer let's go ahead and reduce the amount that we're adjusting Oh, we've passed it that's okay right we're looking at how close we're going to be when we do get to Earth. That's pretty close. We'll go forward to Earth, escape, forward, and let's pick a target, Jupiter. Now we want to get over, we've got to sling direct, and we go to the outward. And again, we want to watch to see how close of a pass we're making at Earth. It's not good, but as I lower this, you can see that number's rising. It needs to get up above one, and we're almost there. One, it's, it made it, and here we have a pass arriving near Jupiter. I'm going to reduce the amount we're adjusting. That's pretty good. I'm going to swing our white line around. just so that the uh, axis is correct. That looks good. And this pass is pretty close, but we could go back if we want and get that a little closer. And it shows here that the pass at Earth was 1.1, which means that we'll probably be something like oh, a few hundred uh, uh, kilometers above the surface. Not a lot, but enough to mi miss the atmosphere quite easily and let's go forward now this is our pass at Jupiter click for escape forward and we'll pick a new target this time let's try Saturn to see if it's going to be available and view a couple times we have a sling it looks like we do have Saturn somewhere in our area and outward let's go ahead and bring that across we're getting in closer there let's try the inclination wrong direction reduce the amount lay that across, bring back to the outward and we want to see how close we are we're getting in pretty close, we're down to 5 G's, maybe 4, 3, 2 good, and this also says that our pass at Jupiter was 5 Jupiter uh, radius, which is nice uh, an easy pass we're going to go forward now, here we are at Saturn escape and forward and we want to pick a new uh, target, this one see if uh, Neptune is available and Neptune is let's see sling direct it's pretty hard to see what's happening in here why don't we do the following go back to setup toggle through till you see scale to view all let's switch it over to target now we can see that uh, as we slung off here we're going to be going this direction but uh, Neptune is over here so we uh, sling direct outward we're going to raise that up until we're getting pretty close go to inclination and we'll get this And there we are at, at Neptune. <laughs>